Eric Dolph covering my Stephen Bernoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. The United States has yet again tested the uh, Minuteman intercontinental ballistic missile. Uh, and today, just showing a uh, the strength and the force, the United States still has the possibility and capabilities of uh, launching intercontinental ballistic missiles. Uh, the missile, as before, traveled 4,000 miles to uh, an island out into the Pacific there and, of course, was yet once again uh, a success. Also, in other news as well, very startling, uh, in fact, is that Turkey threatens the U.S. forces in Syria as Putin presses for safe zones. Uh, that's interesting, Putin pressing for safe zones, so working with the United States to put together these safe zones that President Trump had talked about, and now a top aide to Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan hinted Wednesday that U.S. commandos in northern Syria could be targeted by Turkish rockets if they continue to work with Kurdish fighters along the border with Turkey. The comments by uh, Ilnur Savik, a senior political advisor to Erdogan, came the same day. The president sat down with Russian President Vladimir Putin to discuss plans for safe zones meant to stop the violence in Syria. They came two weeks before Erdogan visits Washington for his first meeting with President Donald Trump. If the Kurds and Americans continue to work together, Civic said during the radio interview, we won't be considering the fact that, they, that there are armored uh, American vehicles. All of a sudden, by accident, a few rockets can hit them. The veiled threats for a NATO ally to a potential, potentially use force against U.S. troops highlight just how, excuse me, highlight just how risky and uh, complicated U.S. intervention in the Syrian civil war has become and could further sour relationships between Washington and Ankara that have already been strained in the wake of a failed 2016 coup in Turkey. I still do believe that the United States was behind that coup and just really makes me wonder what is going on with this latest threat coming out of Turkey against the United States. Also, in other news, United, uh, United with Israel is reporting Trump to Abbas. Palestinians must speak with a unified voice against incitement. Kind of glad to see that he actually did that right there at the podium. Uh, no doubt, though, that Mahmoud Abbas knew that was coming. But, you know, after being awarded a higher amount of money and the millions of dollars than what President Barack Hussein Obama did when he was in office... Uh, makes it a lot easier for Mr. Abbas just to say, yes, sir, Mr. President, whatever you say, sir. Kind of nuts. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Quick Take of Israeli News Live. Looks like tomorrow we'll get back in the saddle, really get, really, really get at this once again. Been dealing with a lot of things that were going on today. And uh, so we'll catch up with the news tomorrow. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Erev Tov.